Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. This is getting a little bit out of hand. And I mean, I know sometimes I sit here and like I look like I have it together. I don't. If, if you would have told 2014, 15, 16 me the amount of interest and buying that we have in the cryptocurrency space, I think I would have called you absolutely insane. Um, and if you had told me that we'd be getting news like this every, <laughs> I'm just, every single day, and then to even, he to even hear that there are people who doubt the market, doubt Bitcoin, because I, I, I've, I've said it before, I usually don't like post normally on Twitter, but I do peruse every now and again. I, you know, I sift through things, see what's going on. And whenever we have mar whenever we have prices go down by a couple of percent, people get pretty pessimistic really fast. I'm not sure if it's because we are unable to retain good news for too long or simply if other things are happening that make us forget. That's what I think is part of the, not to sound cheesy, part of like the power of like uploading daily is so that you can always all look back and you can realize that like I'm not posting good news like once a week. It's like every single day. So you can, oh my gosh, oh, that's crazy. Over the last three years, every single day has been absolutely amazing um, kind of news thing. So we've been, we've been, and I mean, the word is a literal avalanche. We've been getting an avalanche of incredibly good news, not, not only from prices and accumulation, but also like if you, if you haven't been seeing it, um, a lot of the companies and institutions who, 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 who did not tell us that they were in the cryptocurrency space, um, a lot of them have released filings with the SEC. And in many cases, uh, many of these filings have not been public per se, but people have actually been looking through the SEC's files and not, not, li not in like a, a bad way, but like going through the lists of who have filed uh, with them. And I would say it's an understatement to like talk about the gravity of how insane all of this is. A number of years ago, it was just us. Crypto was very niche. Bitcoin was a thing, but not really a thing. How anyone can be bearish on the market, I haven't been able to mentally work out myself because it doesn't make a lot of sense. The news today is that um, according to a recent filing with the US SEC, uh, for those of you who are not in the States, uh, there's a bank called Wells Fargo. You must have heard of it at some point. Uh, Wells Fargo, one of the largest banks in the United States, has had to disclose information about Bitcoin. And guess, guess, guess what? Yeah, they, they also own a large amount of Bitcoin ETFs. According to the filing, Wells Fargo holds positions in Grayscale's Spot Bitcoin ETF, ProShares Bitcoin Strategy Futures ETF, and shares in Depot Inc., marking a notable entry into the Bitcoin market. For some reason, the last two weeks, um, a lot of companies are holding Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF. It's not bad, but it's just more confusion because Grayscale has a 1.5% fee, while the other companies don't. Some of them have a 0% fee and others have 0 0.25 and 0 0.35. And that's been a notable pattern in the last couple of weeks as we keep seeing more and more of these institutions owning large amounts of uh, grayscale in particular. And nearly every single one of them owns uh, BlackRock as well. Um, the other filings that we saw actually had numbers to them. Uh, for some reason, this one did not. They have not disclosed exactly, or rather it was not disclosed, how much Bitcoin they actually own through this. 
I've said it before, I'm going to try not to dwell too long on it, but you all get how significant this is, right? I heard someone say yes, thank you for responding back to your screen, but we can't keep, we cannot keep getting news like this every single day and having people doubting the market in any sort of way. Like, there's literally no room for doubt at this point, especially when we keep hearing about, and these are, these are, these are, these are institutions, these are banks who not only years ago talked negatively about the cryptocurrency space, but also, and I'll say it this way, when you have to think as a bank or a multi-billion dollar, trillion dollar conglomerate as to what to do with your money, the normal thing, people would, okay, invest, cool, invest in some sort of way. We're getting a news that these, these, these major banks are not putting huge allocations into, into gold or other things similar, what have you. You understand the significance of choosing Bitcoin over other assets. It's even on, on this article as well. We heard also recently, um, Suske Hana, International Group, another large consortium, banking, money, blah, blah, blah. Um, people found their SEC filings. Now, I'll give you four seconds to write how much money you think Susquehanna is holding in Bitcoin. I'll give you a good four seconds. I don't know why I actually waited four seconds, but alas, here we are. Susquehanna, in their SEC filing... Noted that they are holding 1.8 billion, that's billion with a B, 1.8 billion dollars in Bitcoin, spot Bitcoin, and also Bitcoin ETFs. So not only are they holding the securitized version through all these companies, but they're also holding physical Bitcoin as well. The interesting thing about these filings, for those of you who didn't get it, was that we would not know of these happenings if it were not for the obligation from the US SEC for these companies to actually file this information. Which leads me then to the other question. How many other companies are actually holding Bitcoin but is through a subsidiary? I remember that was a really annoying moment in, 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 in cryptocurrency history where for some reason I mentioned years ago, I was like, you know all these companies are holding Bitcoin and crypto and stuff, right? And people were like, well, we, there are no numbers. Like we can't see it anywhere. Like there are no filings. And I was like, yeah, but you know how like subsidiaries and like shell companies and all these other things, right? But no, that's not a thing. And I was like, okay. So for those of you who don't know how like big money works, companies hide money and they hide assets inside of a company that's inside of another company that's inside of another. And sometimes it can go like 15 levels deep. You, you must have watched the documentary or, or something at some point. And I have a very big theory. I don't even think it's a theory at this point. There are so many companies who are holding large amounts of Bitcoin because when you talk about all this Bitcoin that's just not moving, has not moved for years, that we continue to see even accumulated and no one like knows where it's going. I think there's a lot of companies who are buying it and you can like wrap it into other companies. So you can be BlackRock and you can own 15 other companies beneath you that are located in the Bahamas and in, in Jersey and a whole bunch of other places. And then no one will ever be able to actually find this money. So we're figuring out these numbers because of an obligation from the US SEC where they have to file. But um, yeah, it's getting real. And I just, I constantly, I, I need everyone to, you know, be on board um, knowing this information because these levels of accumulation are crazy. We are well beyond the point where we should be well well above $120,000 per Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to get there and it's going to be a shock to a lot of people because of when your prices stagnate and when there's all these other things. But yeah, so Wells Fargo is holding a huge amount of Bitcoin and also in the same article as well, Susquehanna is holding $1.8 billion worth of Bitcoin. So just thought you should know that. I do hope 
that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be. I do hope it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.